talking here about redox, which involves things like oxidation numbers, and I'm going to use the NotCardi PowerPoint for this. Um, NotCardi PowerPoints can be downloaded here if you want to have a look um, yourself. So the simplest definition of oxidation is just something that gains oxygen. Magnesium here is oxidised. It has been oxidised because it's gained oxygen. Another way of defining oxidation is the loss or the removal of hydrogen. So here we have ethanol um, that's lost some hydrogen, it's been oxidised. Reduction is the opposite. So whereas before oxidation we lost hydrogen, reduction is the gain of hydrogen. Or we could say it's the loss of oxygen. We've got two different equations here. The thing is, there are other examples where oxygen and hydrogen aren't involved directly, but it's still defined as oxidation and reduction. And that's where we have to look in a bit more detail. So we've got two new definitions here. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. So oxidation is the loss of electrons. Reduction is where something gains electrons, where a species gains electrons. So if it's oxidised, you get a species that becomes less negative or more positive. Reduction, it's the gain of electrons, so a species becomes more negative or less positive. So here's our little symbol to help us remember oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain, and we're talking about electrons here. To help us look at the more sophisticated examples of oxidation and reduction, we need to consider something called the oxidation state. And the oxidation state tells us about how many electrons you have to either take away or add to something to make it become neutral. So if you have sodium, a sodium atom, it hasn't lost or gained any electrons, it has its full set of 11 electrons, it's neutral already. So its oxidation state is zero. If it's lost an electron to become a positive ion, a plus one ion, then to make it back to a neutral atom, we would have to add one electron. So it's given an oxidation state of plus one. Chlorine, when it becomes a chloride ion, has gained an electron. So if we want that to go back to a chlorine neutral atom, we'd have to take an electron away. It has an oxidation state of minus one. Have a look at this. Assign oxidation states to each of these. Pause now and we'll come back to this. So carbon is neutral, uh, so it has an oxidation state of naught, of zero. Um, Fe3+, plus, it's just plus three. Fe2+, plus, it's just plus two. The thing to notice here is that when you um, write an ion, so Fe3+, plus, we write three plus, if we're assigning an oxidation state, then it's the other way around, it's plus 3. So again, O2 minus, uh, that's minus 2. Helium is neutral, HE, so it has an oxidation state of 0. Aluminium, uh, this aluminium 3 plus, has an oxidation state, oxidation state of plus 3. So the first rule is that atoms, when they're in the form of an element, will always have an oxidation state of 0. So hydrogen in H2 will be zero. Helium on its own will be zero. Sulfur in S8 will be zero, and so on. And there are certain rules that we can take into account. Basically, hydrogen will always have an oxidation state of plus one, except in a hydrogen molecule when it will have an oxidation state of zero. And also there's a particular example where it's joined to um, a group one metal, um, where it will be a hydride ion and then it will be a minus one. Oxygen will always be minus two, except when it's in the form of an element, O2, then it will be zero. There's another example, hydrogen peroxide, um, where it's minus one. Also in something like F2O, it's a very specific example, um, because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, it's to the right of oxygen in the periodic table, then that will be the negative one. So in this particular compound, then oxygen will be plus two, so that F fluorine can be minus one. 
and so fluorine is the most electronegative element in periodic tables, so it will always be minus 1, whatever it's paired with, except when it's an element, and then it follows the rule, like all the others, it has an oxidation state of 0. In any molecule, any neutral molecule, the sum of the oxidation states must add up to 0. So whatever the individual oxidation state of um, the individual species that make up that compound, all together they must come to zero. So hydrogen in a hydrogen molecule must have an oxidation state of zero. Carbon dioxide, CO2, must have an overall oxidation state of zero. In this particular molecule, each of the oxygen atoms has an oxidation state of minus two. Two of those together will make minus four. So we've got to balance that out with the carbon. So if it's going to be neutral overall, the carbon must have an oxidation state of plus four. They need to balance.